Welcome to the overview video for Soapy Bowl's latest Android application, Ultimate Umpire Special Edition. In this video, I will give a brief overview of how to use Ultimate Umpire, and how it can not only act for a replacement as an umpire indicator or clicker, but also can record an entire game and then allow you to see the stats of the game, as well as share them with your friend. So, since this is a video, let me get right in and show you how this works. I'm going to go ahead and open Ultimate Umpire. I'm at the main menu here and I'm going to start a new game. Uh, you can see by default that there's all kinds of things filled out for me. Uh, we did this so if you're on the field and you don't want to spend a lot of time typing, everything is there and it makes sense. We're going to call this my demo and just to show you, you can click here to pick different game types. Uh, we're going to stick with kickball. We're going to make this one just because it's a short video and there's a whole lot of extra stuff here that you can look through in more detail and we're going to hit continue now this screen is where everything happens during game play uh, the first batter here uh, we're going to go ahead just give a ball a strike a foul um, we're just going to go ahead and strike this batter out now the top section i didn't show you yet has the visiting team, the batter number, which just incremented to two since we struck out. We're in the top of the first. Uh, the visiting team and home team totals, um, those are runs, hits, and errors. Uh, because we struck out, it took care of automatically giving us batter two and also incrementing our noted outs. Batter two now is going to get a hit, so we'll just give him a strike for the fun of it. We'll do hit, single, and now we're on batter three who is going to walk so we'll go ahead and walk that batter and now batter four we're going to actually do a double play situation here now so what happens in this case is we record the ground out by pressing batter out and then we record the runner that got thrown out most likely at second by hitting runner out uh, that's the third out notice that we are now in the bottom of the first we're at the first batter for the home team everything is automatically reset for the home team we're going to do this pretty quickly the first batter is just going to strike out the second batter is going to fly out let's say and now because we only chose to have one inning and we don't want to go into extra innings we're going to have the last batter hit a home run and notice that we have been brought back to the main menu because the game is now complete. The home team has won since uh, that was the go-ahead run in the bottom of the last inning. Now, once we have game saved, we can go to load game. And there's a few in here. Um, I was obviously playing around in here before. This bottom one here is of note because these checkboxes indicate complete games. Uh, this one is not complete, so I just want to show you really quick if I open this, there's a load button here. And if I go into that, you can see that I've been dumped into a game that I had previously saved but was not complete. Everything is right where I left it. It's the top of the third in this case, and here's my scores. Um, and you can go ahead and continue on like nothing ever happened. So we're going to save to go back and now this is our game here so I'm going to open it up you can see here my load button is grayed out because this is a complete game we don't need to resume it we have the overall scores at the top the name of the game uh, and then everything breaks down by inning we only had one inning so you can see what the visiting team did this is their stats for the inning as a team what every batter did you can see the individual count for every batter the strikeout single walk the ground fly out and that the base runner was thrown out and the same thing goes for the home team down to the home run now to share this I don't have this set up completely since this is an emulator on my desktop but what I can show you is that if you hit share it will bring you to this window where you choose long or short format long format gives you everything you saw on the screen behind this and it's great for email then you can send the whole game to your friends yourself etc short format is best for like Twitter and Facebook that requires a limit of 140 or so characters and it basically gives you uh, the name of the teams the overall score the, the the basic stat line you would see at the bottom of your screen on TV 
Um, I'm not going to go ahead and click those because this is an emulator and not set up to interact, but on your own phone you would click that and get a list of all the social networks that you have signed up for and integrated with your phone. You would simply click on the one you want, say Facebook, and it would automatically do the rest and you'd get a little bubble response saying that it had been posted to Facebook. That's all for our demo. I hope you enjoyed and you come to see our website. We have a great online community there and we'd love to have you be part of it. Again, our website is www.soapyball.com.